Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. What is going on, everybody? We got uh, 301 people in here right now. Knox wants to hop up and say hi. Come on, bud. You want to say hi? Want to say hi to everybody? Here. Look at the camera right there. Speak. Hey, speak. <laughs> good boy. That's my dude. All right, let's go ahead and kill that. What is going on, guys? Sorry, last weekend, uh, decided to take the missus on a little uh, mini vacation, but uh, she got a little sick, so uh, we had to haul ass home again. Uh, yeah, last, yeah, Mar uh, Mirandy? Yeah, last weekend, took the missus. It was a good time. Uh, Pixie kills PJ. Huh? And only, I know, only 52 likes. I don't know why people don't like it. There's a, Nux, how does your hair just explode off of you and end up all over the room? I wish y'all could see what I'm looking at right now. He's, he's just sitting there wagging his tail, just staring at me. And now he's breathing into my, don't breathe your butt air into my fucking computer bro you stink you stink like butt foot yeah all right go on bud go lay down bed bed knocks does eustis have a plane if so is she a c9 no i i haven't figured out what eustis is gonna be yet Finally catching a stream game. Been almost a month celebrating annual bonus and paying all of my credit card debt. Bro, that's what I'm talking about, Devin. Hey, I good shit, man. You guys should always be paying off debt. I I only have the debt that I want to have at this point in time. Um, I, I will be honest with you. I didn't own a credit card with the exception of the government one until earlier this year. Like two months ago. It's the first time I've ever owned a credit card. And I'm terrified of using the damn thing. I've used it once. And as soon as I used it, I went to my wife and I was like, can I pay it off right now? She's like, you, you just have to pay it off before it's due. And I was like, I'm going to pay it off right now. I literally paid it off like an hour later because I just, I don't like, I, I don't trust credit cards, man. I just, I just don't do it. You're lucky to have such a gorilla dinosaur. Woof. What? What? Uh, if you're Discord, if you're in Discord, come, uh. Talk to me, Goose. Oh, weapons right now? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to be doing that tonight, my homie. Nothing personal. Uh, the warden will pay off mine. Where's the buff? The buff is always around. You just really, you know, you have to ask for him. Uh, what do we got going on? Debt and credit cards are f scaring frightening me. So I'm telling you, I just don't do debt. Man, I got to try some more hell divers. So I, guys, I have... Let me see how many, how, just to show you, Helldivers has been out. I've had it pretty much since the day it came out. This is how much time I've had for video games. Uh, let me go to Helldivers on my Steam. Uh, how do you see how many hours you've played? How do you see... Um, hmm. Oh, six hours since the game came out. That's all the time I've had. And then, and then... Uh, what was it? Um, fucking, this other game came out. It's the new Mud Runner. It's called, uh, Expeditions. There we go. Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. That one I've actually been into, uh, a lot. And that came out. And I got five hours in that one. Right, who in my ballot? What's your opinion on everything political that happened? <laughs> I I didn't even have time, guys. Let me put it to you this way. I, I love I love my job. I love my job, and it's amazing. But um, this entire week, again, love my first art. He's a great dude. I have been just on fucking side quests. That's it. Like, I took a picture of my first sergeant, and I, I like, d cropped a exclamation point above his head. Like, all he had was side quests, because he's just been putting me on fucking side quests man like i i was doing so much extra shit just because i'm not on cycle right now i'm actually looking forward to getting back in cycle uh democracy needs you hell diver get to it i bro i'm i've had zero time man grandpa buff how the hell are you well i tell you sometimes these fucking chuckle fucks on the far side of the planet they really think they got us they got something like those those hooty whatever the the, the newest assholes in pajamas over there that got a fucking problem with us. Well, anyway, those guys were running around and they failed to realize that every morning I wake up and eat a bowl of lightning just because I like the tingle. I'm about to go over there and fucking introduce them. I'm sorry. I 
There you guys go. That's a Ukraine says they're running out of ammo. It's the beginning of the end. If U.S. support dries up, it might be. Uh, honestly, if if world support dries up, it might be. But like, I don't think it will. I I don't know. I I know who I want to do well, but at the same time. I, I, I don't know. It's it's really hard. Joined at Chuckle Fox is crazy funny. <laughs> At least we have water. Here we have to get intercepted or get uh get up on it at 35. Oh, that fucking nerd can never get away from me. There we go. <laughs> and poor F-22 is sitting on the sidelines. Yep. Have I seen a short going around of India's new super missile saying it can't be intercepted? So you're talking about the Brahmos... Uh, so here's the thing. I, I did see it and I responded to it on Instagram. The Brahmos missile. Okay. Everyone's like, no one else has one like this. They're right. Do you know why we don't have anyone like that? Because it's a stupid fucking design. Here's why. All other missiles. See, the United States, we learn from our fucking mistakes. And we learn from the Nike Ajax that liquid fuel inside of a missile is a really dumb idea. Because liquid rocket fuel is uber unstable and can't like maneuver very well and if you bounce it off like if you're transporting it and you bounce it off of something it has a bad habit of fucking exploding so what the brahmos is is it's a two-stage liquid and solid state so it's a cruise missile that takes off with its liquid fuel like fucking all ballistic missiles that russia has designed since like fucking forever um takes off with its liquid fuel and then throughout its flight path it switches to solid fuel does the solid fuel make it go any faster? Marginally. Does the solid fuel change its flight pattern? Not at all. Does the solid... Like, it's it's a stupid fucking design to have two different types of fuel on board. They, they, they just did it because, like, look what we can do. And it's fucking pointless. It is the dumbest shit. The Brahmos. Now, the Brahmos 2 is supposed to be hypersonic, but the Brahmos 2 is still in development. Not to be confused with the Brahmos Block 2, which is in production right now. I like missiles. My missiletism took over. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. I paused for a second. Uh, Buff is starting to sound like Nick ranting about communism. <laughs> Chuckle fucks in pajamas. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even realize I put that all together. Ah, uh, that's great. Um, love your content. If you uh. If you've never been on one, get yourself on a tour of a Virginia-class submarine. I would love to. I'm just nowhere near the ocean. I, I, look, I have, I, I, in the spirit of transparency, I will tell you, I, blah, 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 I will tell you, I have literally touched the ocean once, and it was in uh, UAE, and it was in the Strait of Hormuz, and it was hot, super fucking salty, and there was these little bitty fishes that were running all around. I'm sure like some people would love it. I didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, that's literally the only time I've ever touched the ocean. I've flown over a lot of them, but I've never been to the ocean other than that. So that may be strange to some people. Eh, I'd love to go tour some fucking ships. I have a, I have a few uh, sailors that are like, yeah, you can come on board my whatever, DDG fucking LLHF fucking, I can't remember. A bunch of different acronyms that I'd, I'd love to. Just I'm nowhere nearby. Fucking we woke him up. The missiletism. F-22, fire the screaming eagle. <laughs> Will I be on unsub soon? Yes. In the very near future, I'll be on unsub again. It'll be my third time on unsub. I'm super excited. I love Eli. I love Nick. love Cody. love Brandon. They're all fucking great people, man. And I, I can't wait to be there. Um, where I goed? Uh, I, was, I went down to Dallas um, with the wife, which according to my analytics, like, 15% of my entire 1.3 million TikTok following is in Dallas. And I was there for a solid 14 hours and no one asked me for my autograph. I was offended. I'm just fucking with you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, just for shits and giggles, do a Helldivers 2 short? I did. I did uh, a little while ago. Uh, I was just sitting there waiting for my wife to bring home some dinner because I don't have a truck right now because truck's in the shop. Have I checked out least bit of the latest unsub? I have not, Weapons. I need to. I Bro, I haven't had time... I, so I was on a podcast earlier this week. It's called Leaders Recon. It's actually like Army National Guard Strategic Communications. They came down and wanted to talk to me about the importance of humor in uniform, which was super fucking awesome, man. I'm glad the Army's getting on board with like, hey, we have social media content creators. 
Let's ask them what the fuck they're doing, which is super cool. Honestly, the guy in charge of it, Sergeant Miller, really nice guy. Uh, so that was this week. Oh my God. I, I went to my computer at my office. Like I sat down at my desk for a grand total of one hour this week. So bro, I'm trying, I'm trying. The Liberty Ship Program. I'm not familiar with that. I uh, hope everything's good. Got a question. I'm 26 years old. Thinking about joining the Army. What should I expect? I want to join because I want discipline that I can't get on my own. Also, career change. I will tell you right now, Flavio. Flavio, Flavio. Um, you should expect that the best part of the military is the people. And that the worst part of the military is also the people. It's just like any other job, man. Like, once you've been in for a while, like, the... the <laughs> I don't know what happens. There's like a chemical change in our brain. Dudes who serve like one contract get out and they have like their ribbons on like a leather jacket and they're, we're a brotherhood. And they get those fucking paragraph t-shirts that say like, I, you know, I'm not afraid to kill a man and hug my wife and, and I've defended freedom and like all this other bullshit you see on Facebook. Those are the dudes who did like one tour. Everybody else who did like 10, 15 years in. It's just the fucking job, bro. That's really all it is. You wake up, it does what it's told, you go to sleep. That's, I mean, there's people who are going to piss you off. It's it's going to it's gonna irritate you, but you just, it does what it's told. That, and the military is easy, man. The army, the military in general is easy as long as you just don't quit. Literally, that's all you got to do. You want to pass basic training? Don't quit. That's it. Try and don't quit. You want to go to airborne school? Literally don't fucking quit. And then you can do like everyone else who's airborne does and make a three-week school your entire personality. Congratulations. You fell down for three weeks. You have a you went through a school that has a 97% pass rate and you are part of an ex exclusive brotherhood. Congratulations. I'm sorry. I would I would love to jump out of a plane as a civilian. Army parachutes, fuck that. They have a descent rate of like 15 feet per second. Not good on the knees and the back and the everything else. No. Sorry. I got to scroll back down. <laughs> you rewatched all my 2020 TikTok videos? Ooh, I'm sorry, man. It was pretty cringe back then. I, I mean, I, I had some fun stuff. Doggy treats? I will do doggy treats. Thank you for always captioning your content. Somebody reached out to me and they uh, they commented when I first started doing that that they were deaf and they really appreciated that. So I try and go the extra mile and always do that. So I appreciate that. Ow. Any word on Discord getting Patriot Hervinia to you? What? Pat what? I Daniel, I you may have to elaborate, man. Um. The doggies got treats. You're fat, Knox. Go to bed. No, that was it. You got your treat. I love you, but you're fat. If you ever end up in Southeast Virginia, I can get you on one. Hmm. I don't know if I have a reason to go to Virginia. I do. Butterworth the Syrup is there. I don't know if you guys know uh, Butterworth. He's a really cool creator. I love Butterworth. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's in Virginia. You should develop Czech Republic character and come on now since they're like France. He's taking the lead to get Ukraine what they need. Um, I do need to do that. I need to mention, was it Sweden? Sweden joining NATO? Was it Switzerland? I'm Guys, I, I've had no time for anything this week. It's been nuts. Uh, let me see. What's my opinion on the A-10 being retired? I love the A-10. I love it. I, I do. It's a great aircraft. It, it still has, it, okay, how do I word this? It still has a lot of applicability. It's still a great air platform. It's a robust air platform. But the thing about the U.S. military is, is we are constantly innovating. And I really think that the A-10 is, this is my theory. I have nothing to back this up. That the A-10 is getting phased out because it's a victim of its own success. Now, that may sound a little strange, but that's the F-14 Tomcat we kept around so long that they stopped making parts for it. And it would have been more expensive to buy F-14 parts than it would have be to just design a new aircraft. The A-10 has been around a long time. I feel, again, I have nothing to back that up, but I feel like that's what's going on with the A-10. Um, so I'm trying to stay on this. Do not cry. I wish my wife would hug me. You all right, Venom? As someone involved in weapons testing and development, you better not retire before I get a clearance and attend one of your classes. <laughs> Love what you do, man. Bro, I, so there's a guy, 
Uh, I don't want to give up names or anything like that. Uh, he watches my videos. Now, a while back, I made a video. Uh, that deaf commenter was you, Ping? Fuck yeah! Hey, thank you so much for being... Uh, um, ho uh, uh, hold on. Um, oh, wait. It's a chat. I can do this. There we go. Um, but anyway, so I made the video a while back talking about Patriot fratricide when we shot down two friendly aircraft. And um, a guy reached out to me and he, he claimed to be a pilot of an F-14 that was there that night. I'm, I'm naturally super skeptical. That's just the way that I am. And I was like, yeah, right. And then he started talking. And let me tell you, this man knew more about that incident than anyone I have ever spoken to. So there's no doubt in my mind this man knows what the fuck he's talking about. And the way he was explaining things, like my brain is... And I'm trying to get that guy into a secret room and talk to him. Because what I was told what happened... Obviously, I wasn't there in 2003. What I was told happened and what he experienced... The math ain't mathin'. They, they're not going together. So this is a rare opportunity that I can learn something, and I'm fucking happy about it. Uh, yeah. Sweden, okay. Don't confuse Sweden and Switzerland again. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, there was a, we had a, we had a Swedish student. And, uh, yeah, I think I told you guys about that last, uh, last, um, stream. I had a drunken realization that Grandpa Buff has more air-to-air -air kills than the kid. He does. He he absolutely does. Again, the kid is just a victim of his own success. It was... I don't know. Can we get more helicopters? I have been working on a Chinook character. It's just... It's, it's not there yet. You know you're getting crazy when Sweden's had enough of Russia's shit. I, again, I need to pay more attention um, to everything that is going on in the world right now. I just have had... Zero time. National Guard is in New York subways? That's a... The Boneyard has 80 plus? Are we talking about A-10s or are we talking about F-14s? I, I really just want to go see an F-14. It's just... It's a... I love the Tomcat because it was another one of those built out of necessity. I don't know if you guys know this about the Tomcat, right? It can get a weapons lock at a greater range than our current aircraft can because it had the most powerful radar ever fitted to a fighter aircraft. The only thing that trumps it in the air is like a fucking AWACS. And it can get a weapon solution with that with that Phoenix missile at a greater range than an F-22 with an AIM-120, which is fucking wild. Um... It's just, it was built out of necessity. Like, somebody designed, I don't even know who made it, the Phoenix missile, and they're like, what are we going to put this on? And fucking, I think it was Northrop made the Tomcat, and they were just like, fuck it, let's make this. Um, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. Maybe a job, but the senior NCOs felt it was necessary to tell me about life in the real world when I was getting out. Finally, I had to say I joined at 21, and I ran out of school. I'm well aware of the real world. Yeah, that's the thing. And I'm starting to realize that myself now that I've made the decision that I'm, you know, walking away. Again, I love the army. I love what the army's given me. But I think everyone comes to a realization that there's, there's, your time can be two years in, it can be four years in, it can be 25 years in. But there's going to be a time when you're just like, I don't need to be here anymore. It's, it's time for me to walk away. And that's my time now. And um, when I started making that decision, oh, oh my God. Everybody wanted to come and talk to me about my decision and, and, you know, why I shouldn't leave, why I shouldn't do this, why I shouldn't do that, and, and I, I should stick around for this, and what about this, and I was just like, wow. It, like, everyone's perception of me fucking changed, and I was like, the military is the greatest example of Stockholm Syndrome. You got to get what you need out of it. Cochlear implants, Bluetooth tech has allowed me to connect, but only in some situations. Ah, got it, ping. Love your short content. Let's go. I know I'm trying to, I had a long form recorded like three weeks ago and I just haven't had time to edit. How would you approach being a recruiter nowadays, keeping your integrity and in rank? Oh, simple. Honestly, I, I will tell you guys what, and don't take this the wrong way. What I realize you got, what you guys like about me, aside from the humor, obviously, um, is being genuine. That's literally all you have to be as a recruiter. Fucking genuine. 
and you have to answer questions. Like, it, it's funny. There was a video was on uh, Instagram yesterday. There was a woman who was like, I don't know how America, she was British. She's like, I don't know how America is the greatest country in the world. They don't give you paternity or maternity leave. They don't give you health insurance. And like, they don't give you school. They don't. And I was just like, the military does that. The military does that. The military does that. The military does that. Like, it's a great opportunity compared to a lot of the things that are out there. But I think too many people treat the military like it's their everything instead of their foundation. And I, I wish more people would treat the military like, boom, it set me up for success. But what I do from here is really on me. Um, but again, some people do four years and they make it their entire personality. Phoenix was designed to counter Soviet bombers, newfound cruise missile capability. Oh, I didn't know that. F-14B Super Tom was the greatest aircraft in the U.S. Air Force. Never produced. I, just, I love the Tomcat. It's just it's also a sexy-ass aircraft. Would you say the F-35 is a good multi-role aircraft? Absolutely. The F-35 is a phenomenal... Here's the thing. Okay. And I hate admitting this because I love the kid. I love the F-22. Like, But facts are facts, right? And I, I, I always... I'm all about, like, the truth. If you were to pit an F-35 against an F-22, 1v1, within line of sight, all day the 22 is going to fucking body him. Okay? that's that, But that's very strict operational parameters. If you take a squadron of F-35s and a squadron of F-22s, and you put them just off in the distance, beyond line of sight, going at each other, those 35s are going to be able to drop more of those 22s before the 22s get within range of those 35s. I'm pretty sure the 30... I'm almost... I'm fairly confident the 35s are going to win probably 7 out of 10 times. And I hate admitting that because the 22... It's just a sexy bitch. I love the 22. It's like every metric you can measure it by, aside from sensor integration and technology capability, it's fucking better. It's faster. It's sleeker. It can turn better. It's fucking just... I love it. It's sexy. And I hate fucking admitting that about the 35. It's the same thing about like... <sighs> It's the same thing that I admit about um, Iowa-class battleships. I love Iowa-class battleships. They're fucking sexy. Hands down, the most sexy ship that has ever been designed is the Iowa-class battleship. And people are like, we should bring them back. A DDG would sink one before they even knew it was there. And I hate admitting that because the DDG, I think, is an ugly shit. It looks like a boat wearing a trucker hat. I'm sorry. DDGs are fucking ugly. Not quite as ugly as a, as a cruiser, like a Ticonderoga-class cruiser. But DDGs are fucking ugly. Just look at the boat. Like, Google it on your phone right now. You know, uh, Arleigh Burke class destroyer. And look at it and be like, that is a boat with a trucker hat. That's what it is. That's what they look like. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. <laughs> I went off on a rant. Uh, let me see. Let me make sure I didn't lose. In a good mood. I'm in a pretty good mood. I got a little headache going on right now. Sad we can't hear the birds tonight on chat. So I turned those off. I, I, I had a lot of people, you know, give me feedback that they didn't want those ones on. I left the, this isn't a ploy, but I left the $50 and up uh, one on the, would you intercept me? I'd intercept me. Um, but the, the under that, I, and it's not, again, you don't have to donate. You know, I, I will never require that. Just watch, watch my videos. That's all I ever ask. And, um, but a lot of people asked me because it was interrupting my thoughts. I would be talking about something and then something would pop up and it would interrupt me. So yeah, because of DARPA HUDs, big facts. Rapid Dragon on the big transports. So Grandpa Buff's birthday is April 15th. I think it'd be great if your nations wished him a happy birthday in their own language. I love that. I didn't know his birthday was April 15th. Putting that in my notes. I absolutely, that's a wonderful idea. I like celebrating like holidays with my characters. It's always a lot of fun. Habitual line crosser cringe. I'm, I'm sorry, weapons. I'm, look, man, I know. So weapons, for those of you who don't know weapons, he's a good dude. Uh, he is an, an, an old Air Force, like weapons guy. Like he knows a fuck ton about Air Force weaponry and aircraft weaponry. That's what he did. And so sometimes I say things uh, when I'm speaking about aircraft, and he, uh, um, and weapons, I don't know if you know anything about, like, RWRs, uh, but I, I have, again, after talking to that pilot, I have some questions, and if we can dance around them unclassified, I would very much like to have a conversation with you about it, because my missiletism has been in overdrive. 
I'm asking field artillery guys if their fucking MPQ-53s can accidentally set off an RWR because there's, there's circumstances that just do not make fucking sense right now. And I don't have enough data to make it make sense. And so the missiletism is in overdrive and has been for like the last three days. Yeah, I heard about uh, Akira. I, I don't know how to say his last name. Yeah, the guy who invented or yeah, the creator DBZ, man, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball in general. Um, it's super sad. I, I, I'm not a huge Dragon Ball fan myself, but I, I can appreciate uh, things like that. Heading through your neck of the woods this Sunday, heading to the other coast is Sky Warden's girlfriend, the Super Guppy. Should I give the Sky Warden a girlfriend? I, Mrs. Linecrosser has agreed to be a character, but I haven't had a reason to use that character yet. So maybe if Mrs. Linecrosser is watching, she could be more than one character. She could be... She could be just like an oh my god girl, or she can be like a goth girl, or what? I I don't know. Look, I look. I'm trying. I'm trying to help out here, but she's got to be more than one character because it's got to help me out here. I'll be 27 probably by the time I get to basic for the Air Force in Texas. Uh, pending approval of medical waiver, I've had my real world experience. Now I want to be part of something better. And so here's the thing, Mega. I mean, I encourage you. I encourage anyone to to chase your dreams and and of course enlist in the military. Um. I, how do I word this? That's a good motivation. That's that's always a good motivation to join the military. You know, you want to be a part of something bigger. And and we are. We I mean, naturally, like, we have a little bit, a significant more amount of weight on our shoulders. That is true. But something I've learned as I've sifted through the years of care about the mission, care about the mission, care about the mission, I worked harder for the dudes to my left and my right than I ever did for some mission written on an op order. So that's what you really have to focus on. It's the people around you, man. That's, uh, have I thought about recording or reaching out and collaborating with other YouTubers? Really love the vid with the fat electrician. Yes. It's a matter of time, man. Uh, it's so hard to just, uh, write a script. So I'm working on a couple more. My wife could be the Black Widow. I would love to. Somebody in my Discord, I just saw it go off. Dou Doubters, you met DARPA before? Oh, I've never met DARPA. Uh, that's not that's out of my wheelhouse. If I'm talking to DARPA or Skunk Works, something is very wrong. Um, do you think that globally we'll respond enough attacks on our military personnel and our allies? We're going soft. Uh, not necessarily, Requiem. Um... So you got to understand the way like mission command works is, for example, it doesn't matter who the president is, really doesn't. They say they are a yes or no person. Yes or no. What matters at that point is the commanders in charge of the planning for that because so the commander sets out their mission, mission, eliminate bad guy, right? Then the subordinate co comes out with, okay, our, our priorities of doing this is this person's going to do this, this person's going to do that, we need ISR, we need reconnaissance, we need exfil, we need boom, 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 and they start doing things. So it really comes down to the Joint, joint uh, Chiefs of Staff. Uh, they're the ones who really have the power there. Um, but of course you need congressional approval most of the time. The president can order small strikes here and there, but um, yeah, that's that's where the, the power lies. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we're going soft. Um, we historically have always fought from the defensive that's i i hate it i don't like it i wish we were more aggressive but at the same time russia is incredibly aggressive uh, i think i've made a video a while back i don't know if i actually posted it um, russians escalate before they de-escalate americans de-escalate before we escalate so like some shit will happen and we'll be like, hey, you probably shouldn't do that anymore, man. Like we did with the Houthis. Like, hey, we're going to put our boats out here and shoot down your missiles because that's not cool. And we were just like, you shouldn't do that. You should stop doing that. Hey, man, don't do that again. And they're like, death to America. And then in five hours, we hit 85 targets with fucking guided munitions. It's like, I told you you shouldn't do that, man. Like that's historically, that's the, <laughs> that's the way <laughs> we have fought. But I... I'm not sure. Is there any chance you'll do a re upload of the old Civil War video so people can see some of your older work pre Grandpa Buff and the Kid? I went back and I watched a couple of the uh, the Civil War videos and I just got like the worst case of cringe in the world. Um, and plus, some of the people that I collabed with back then, mm, I don't want to say anything poor about other creators, but we we parted ways. Um, I wish them the best in their future endeavors. 
you know, I don't, I don't want to speak poorly about anybody publicly. Um, they went their way and I went my way. So, uh, we may do another civil war style thing again. It was, I mean, I had fun doing it. it. The viewership sucked, but, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, maybe once I retire and I have, or not retire when I get out and I have more time. Sorry. Uh, I'm in the process of, uh, requitting right now, guys. Uh, so don't, don't hate on me. I'm throwing in a piece of nicotine gum. Uh, it's delicious. It tastes like not gum. Yeah. Buff is French. He is not. The Burt is so good. Just turn it down. Hold on. I'm trying to say, have I thought about reaching out and collab? Oh, yeah. Oh, we already got that one. What do I think about Sweden joining NATO? I honestly, I really do like the idea of uh, a strong unified NATO. Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul. Who do I got in the fight? Tyson? Tyson still got it, man. This is the thing. I, I don't, I don't understand Jake Paul. I really, I really don't. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not a big, I'm not a big sports guy in general, but like, What do you get from from fighting old boxers aside from a whole bunch of money? Like, you don't get a challenge. You're not respected in the sport. You're not... I mean, you get a shit ton of money. Congratulations. I mean, that's great. I'm sure that's what everybody wants. But, like, if you pride yourself as a fighter, why aren't you picking fighters in their prime and saying, I want to box that guy? No, you're finding other YouTubers and you're finding fucking old retired boxers. Do I think Tyson's going to fucking rock his world? Absolutely. Because Tyson still hits hard as fuck. He may not be as fast as he once was, but Tyson, he hits like a fucking brick shit house. It hurts when that man hits. He's like 60 or 70 something years old. I wouldn't want to get hit by him. I wouldn't want to get hit by him even with that headgear that your nose know, sticks out just far enough to get the shit knocked out of it. Yeah, that shit. I don't know if you guys have ever worn that shit. That's what people don't tell you about when you wear that, that fucking headgear shit. Your nose sticks out just, just a quarter inch enough to fucking make it, you know, it sucks. It's awful. Everyone needs a girlfriend, bro. Uh, yeah, what you guys got to do here is my relationship advice. And I'm sure Mrs. Linecrosser is watching. You need to find a woman that takes care of you. You need to find a woman who is freaky in the way you like it, right? You need to find a woman who will wait on you hand and foot. And you need to find a woman uh, who is very, very rich. And then, it is, this is probably the most important part. You need to make sure these women never meet each other. Ever. All right. There we go. Moving on. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Going back to uh, wanting to join the army, but first your unit can make you love or hate the army. A lot of guys in my first were one contract guys. Absolutely. A unit can make or break any individual. Um I, I've been lucky that I've been in a lot of good organizations, but I've also had to endure some bad ones. So uh, I tell everyone, like, just, uh, you know, make sure, um, don't judge the, the army by your first duty station. That's what I, I tell everyone. So, yeah, you're absolutely right, DK. Oh, you're talking, yeah, Conoco Fields. Greenland Shark was talking about Conoco Fields. Civil War cringe. Oh, it was bad, Haven Lady. It was bad. Now you know how I feel. One of my first ever Starship designs for an RPG was bullshit. Like Nick's video on War Daddy. Guy fought Joe Lewis during World War II. Got a shit rock, but had fun doing it. That's, I, I, I respect someone who goes in there with someone like... I, to me, if I was in any kind of sport, like... Let's say that I, I picked up pole vaulting. I'm going to be like, all right, all right. I'm challenging... The world champion from 1973. Like, what is in that for me? Nothing. I want to see him get rocked by Butterbean. Butterbean's gotten old, man. Have you seen Butterbean? I don't know if he's got it anymore. Russian patrol ship Sergei Kotov joined their underwater fleet. Yeah. Days since a country with a navy has lost a ship to a country without a navy. Uh, we're at, what, two days now? Two days since that happened? Oh, try to stay with everything. Seventh ESB broke me. I mean, that's the thing, man. Oh, where's Mrs. HLC? She was in here. 
Hold on, I'm looking for her. I didn't see her. Next time on your Discord, we can talk RWR. Yes, because I have some. I, I got to dance around it. I got I to gotta dance around it, man. Jake Paul's, Paul's asking to get sent to the Shadow Realm like it's a game Yu-Gi-Oh. I hope. I hope. Because I, I just I just don't like him. He's not very likable. <laughs> Mrs. HLC just broed me. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> Actually, she sleeps on the couch most of the time. Which, it's her choice. I guess she just enjoys the couch. I don't know. Hi, Mrs. Lion Crosser. I love you. One of your local Dallas fans, brother, would love to meet you if I'd gotten the chance. Also, 2020 content is hilarious. Is it? I, some of the skit comedy was fun, and I may get back into that skit comedy because I had a lot of fun doing it, man. Uh, I just got back from my brother's submarine graduation. Oh, I remember you talking about that. Graduated with honors. Only 15 out of 90 did. Hell yeah, Freedom Fiend. Hell yeah, we're going to give you some horns. Congratulations to your brother. Oh, you guys can hear it, but I can't. My headphones shut off. There we go. This gives us an opportunity to go to our sponsors. This chat is sponsored by the real sponsors of the United States military. Rip it, Red Bull, Copenhagen, and Marlboro. Fuck your body up before Uncle Sam does. Because he'll have to pay for it. Back to the show. <laughs> so you guys want to know something funny. I'm already on the uh, uh, the, the burn pit registry. Um, no horns? You guys didn't? Oh my god, what's up with my desktop audio? Uh, hey, hold on. I will fix it. Hold on. Nova said I've missed a super chat from him. Hold on. Um, boom, let's try that. There we go, we got the horns. Sorry guys, it's, say, it's saying it's going now. Dad, I told you to wait in the truck. Uh, Nova said I missed a super chat from him. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I see Mega, Ohio Trucker. I see why why Hutan or whatever Devin Elliott. I see DK. Madam Exe. Woohoo! Missed you, but good. Take time for yourself. I needed to. Honestly, I still need more. I I'm sorry, Nemo. Mrs. Line Crosser, hold on. Nova, what was your question? You had a question. I'm, I'm looking. Uh. What was your question, Nova? I'm looking out for it, and Mrs. Linecross was looking out for it. Um, I have been... I have been hexed? What? You got a barn? What is happening? Rusky ships go boom. You ain't wrong, man. This shit's been funny. Um, gotta have the nerdy F-35 mock the kid, because the nerd can carry nukes now, and the kid can't. <sighs> I've been. I, I need to bring up that too. The the nukes. Um, I don't know if you guys are tracking. The buff is currently testing um, hypersonic cruise missiles. Uh, they're called not harms. Fucking oh man. They have a cool name too. Okay. Mrs. Line Crosser, you know what? How about you just come up here and tell me what I need to say? Just tell me. Mrs. Line Crosser. Lucky Charms. Air to Genie. HLC computer turned into sang sandwich. Nuclear air to air missiles. Did I ever get a triangle player position in Usher's? Bro, I'm telling you, right after I came out, I don't, it's like I, it's like I had a premonition. Right after I made that video, then there was the Super Bowl, and Usher performed that song, and I was like, missed opportunity. If that video would have gone viral, can you imagine me in the Super Bowl just rocking a fucking triangle with, with Usher and fucking Ludacris and shit? For no, no reason. Just like, who is this heavy set white man with... 
with a fucking triangle. Uh, <laughs> Hypersonic air breathing weapon concept Hawk tested mid March. Was it tested mid March? I know they tested it at at I want to say White Sands Proving Grounds, um, but they don't. They didn't. They're not doing a live test until shortly. I don't know. I find your Russia character totally offensive. He doesn't sound drunk at all. All right. So what do we talk about now? Is <coughs> oh, we 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 drank too much. Okay. Uh, yes, my dear. Yes, my love. The most important person in my life. I'm checking Discord. Messages. Uh, I'm looking. Shit. Okay. Oh, Nova said I did miss it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nova. I want to I want to thank you HLC without your kindness toward me. I don't think I'd be in the spot I am now. I managed to come uh, to come to my mom late January because of the confidence you gave. You Nova, you came out to your mom in late January. Hey, fucking congrats! Dude is gender neutral in my book, by the way. So fucking congrats, my dude. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Dude, dudette, fucking non-biter and toaster oven, fucking whatever makes you happy, homie. Homie's also gender neutral. I don't fucking know. It's all good, HLC. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Fucking congrats. Congrats, 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 man. Man, dude, fucking person. I'm sorry. I, I'm i excited and I want to be happy for you. Um... You know, you almost got that Russian accent. The only thing you're missing is a fart. <laughs> Be happy with who you are. Arrow. Yeah, air launch rapid response weapon. Hey, there we go. Uh, somebody's juror number eight in my Discord just said it. Hello, NATO. Welcome to the Alliance with Sweden. <laughs> Look, man, I, this this is the way I work. Okay, and just 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 in case anyone was unaware of like my I, I don't I don't get political, right? I don't. Um, you can't force anyone to say something that the that they don't want to say. So, if you say I identify as this, and they say that's dumb, walk away from them. Okay, I don't care what the hell you identify as. Wash your fucking hands when you're done pissing. That's all I really care about. Hygiene. That's that's where my brain is at. Just wash your fucking hands. But you can't force anybody to say something they don't want to say. So if they don't want to say it, fucking roll out. Life goes on. That's my mentality right there. I'm great. What if wings of fire? That's that's how I am today. But that's bro for everyone. Everybody's bro. Mrs. HLC. Nova, you are very, very welcome. Like, dead serious. I'm fucking proud of you. Zachary wants to know how we met. Okay, so uh, me and Mrs. Lion Crosser. Um, so I was working um, as an Alaskan king crab fisherman. And uh, during my time as an Alaskan king crab fisherman, um, I made a lot, a lot of money being a king crab fisherman. And uh, while I was a king crab fisherman, Mrs. Lion Crosser is getting mad. <laughs> She, no, no, no. <laughs> She's blowing me up right now. <laughs> the real story. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Lycrosser, I'll tell you about the real story. Jesus. Um, uh, so, uh, well, now I feel like crying happy tears. Don't you do it. So it was Sister Crosser. Yeah. Um, HLC, a little YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow advice for, or advice or comments. Also, way way i don't uh what i will tell you michigan and this is the hardest thing for anyone to learn when you are trying to be a social media content creator um i asked this to all of my friends who are like hey how do i you know if i want to start doing this how do i do this how do i i will give you all the advice in the world I, as much as i can i i don't know everything right about like cameras lighting is important audio is important your backdrop is important i mean like that stuff is important but the most important thing and this is, I tell this to everybody who wants to be a social media content creator. What 
do people come to your channel for that they can't get elsewhere? That's what you have to figure out. When you find out what people come to you for that they can't find elsewhere that they gravitate towards, you will do well. That's it. That's all it is. That it really is all it is. So, um, me and Mrs. Line Crosser met when uh, my little sister, Sister Line Crosser, the one who's in the Navy now, she was living with me in New Mexico. I was, I had been divorced for about a, a year or so. Um, and she was, you know, she just broke up with that ex and I was like, Hey, I got a house. Just come on down here, you know, get out of, get out of our hometown. Cause our hometown sucked. And she came down and lived with me and she was a dog groomer and she started working where my wife works. And she was like, you guys are a perfect match. You're going to, you know, meet up, meet up, meet up. You know, you guys are amazing for each other. And I was stupid because I like train wrecks. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Like I, and this is a good thing. My wife is the total opposite of everything I've ever, like of all the girls I've ever chased. Okay. Complete opposite. And that's a good thing. Cause I chased fucking train wrecks, like absolute train wrecks. Okay. And you know, it was kind of uh, you know, the, she, my little sister got us together once we played top golf, but she like lied to me about it. So I thought I was going there to whoop my now brother-in-law's ass at top golf. Cause I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm a G all right. When it comes to top golf, but he is way better at golf than me. I now know this. Uh, anyways. And so I, uh, I went and then my sister cornered me and she's like, what do you think of her? I was like, she, she's cool. Like I, I thought I was here to whoop his ass. Like I, what she's all right. Yeah, whatever. And then, uh, finally, you know, I, she convinced me enough and, and, you know, life was just in a, in a spot for me. And I was like, you know what, what's, what's the harm in going out on a date? You know, what's, what's the harm? And I went to her work where she was grooming at. And I tell you right now, and I love giving her this, um, this, this explanation. And, um, so I walked in. I saw my little sister and I said, Hey sis. And she's like, Hey, what's up, bro? What are you doing here? And I was like, I'm actually not here for you. I'm here for her, which is now my wife. And I said, Hey, I would really like your phone number and I would like to take you out sometime. Would you like to go out with me and just have dinner and, you know, get to know each other a little better? She didn't think I was serious. So I stand there awkwardly like a fucking dill hole for like 20 minutes, right? In her defense, she says that she has never like even thought about going on dates with anyone while she's at work. So I got to give, I got to give that to her. Okay. Um, and she reluctantly agreed <laughs> and we went out and, uh, honestly we clicked right away. Like our entire relationship has been very, very easy. We... I mean, went through all the processes. I mean, within a, like, I think it was a month. I was like, do you want to be exclusive and like not talk to anybody else ever again? And she was like, yeah, let's do that. I mean, everything is just really, really easy. Um, she is absolutely my person. And I genuinely believe that out of 7.8 or I think we're at 8 billion people on the planet. She's my, my person. She will be my person. And so much so that like her brother is like a splitting image of her. And I told her if she kicks the bucket, I'm marrying her brother and he can go date who he wants. I'll go date who I want, but that's like going to be my, you know, fucking hetero life partner. Fuck it. Typical air defender. I'm sorry. Uh, sends thermo sun. Yeah. Okay. Any info on Russia's new bomber, any character? I was unaware that Russia had a new bomber. I am so sorry, Legion. I, I'm a little behind on the news right now, guys. I didn't even watch the, uh, the state of the union. I didn't pay attention to it. And now we got a sergeant that I just got that article today. Some sergeant was selling fucking secrets to China, which makes my joke that I made a couple weeks ago, even funnier that the reason China doesn't have a real hypersonic is because they haven't stolen it from us because we haven't designed it yet, which is fucking hilarious. I, I'm telling you, that joke came from way down deep. Like, that's I've just been paying attention to things. China doesn't design shit. They don't, they don't R&D shit. They just steal it from us. We spend all the money on R&D. It's the same thing Russia did. It's just Russia's really bad at stealing. So, uh, was... Was watching the show about space stuff. Question rods from God. Tungsten rod launched from space. Can those be intercepted? Aren't, aren't they just a dumb bomb with no warhead? So could you hit them? Yes, absolutely. But the problem with that is, number one, it is incredibly expensive to get those rods up there. Like the, the amount per pound, I think right now we're at a little over $100,000 per pound to get it into space. So just think about that. A tungsten rod probably weighs close to... Let's say it's a, 
a 10 foot tungsten rod that probably weighs what two tons give or take maybe more so getting them up there is going to be really hard number two i mean you 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 could hit it would it do anything to it probably not you might knock it off its off its trajectory but that's about it it's still going to hit the ground gravity is a, a son of a bitch sorry i'm trying to stay with this e18 growler the growler i i will tell you this and i I love my job. I love what I do. And I tell all my air defenders, because we we get information about like bad guy jammers all the time, but very rarely do we get information about like good guy jammers and electronic warfare. I will tell you that an F-18 Growler is probably one of the most terrifying things to a ground-based radar. Like I, I, they will make me shit my pants. Like just because of what that thing can do to my radar and other radars that are out there, it is absolutely terrifying. They can make me think there's not a cloud in the fucking sky and the skies are completely clear until everything is right on top of me. There's no way to defend against that. They can fucking make me think that there is a thousand missiles coming at me when there's nothing in the sky. They can make my radar just break. They can just fucking overload it. They can just fuck it. Like, the, eight, the F-18 Growler is a terrifying electronic warfare system. It is absolutely fucking terrifying. Um, do you think it would be a bad idea to gather all the... <laughs> I'm not going to say that, Mr. Thermonuclear, on stream, but I, I think people with closed-minded perspectives, uh, you know, kind of don't belong in a modern world, uh, personally. Hold on. Uh, Air Force dude a few days ago was caught with classified info on a dating site. Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. Sorry, bud. My former ADA launcher dog from the ADA at Fort Bliss days under Sergeant Major. You were under Sergeant Major Roland? I know that name. I don't... Fuck. Wow. When did I meet him? Sergeant Major Roland. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of Roland Purdy. I'm thinking of somebody else. I didn't have Sergeant Major Roland. Um... TU-160M is an upgrade of the White Swan. Is the TU-90? TU-90? Fucking. My, my foreign my foreign equipment isn't as good as my, my NATO one. They're asking Mrs. Linecrosser if any if I got anything wrong. USS Wisconsin, some in Florida, man. The old whiskey, man. I, I keep on hearing, like, rumors that we're going to put one of those back in, but I don't know. Um... What do I think? Yeah, the EA-16B Prowler. I am unfamiliar with the F-16 variant of electronic warfare. Um, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever even heard that they had an F-16 version of electronic warfare. That kind of scares me a little bit more because... F-18, great aircraft. Great aircraft, great multi-role aircraft. There's a reason it is the backbone of the United States Navy. But it doesn't excel in any one specific category, right? Jack of all trades, master of none. It's a great fighter. It's a great bomber. It's it's a great interceptor. It's it's a great electronic warfare system. But, I mean, aside from the, the E-18 Growler that is designed for electronic warfare, it, it doesn't excel in any one category. The F-16, on the other hand, was purpose-built to dogfight. The F-16, I will, I will be honest with you, out of all the aircraft that exist in the world, the F-16 is the only one that I am genuinely curious if it can outmaneuver my interceptors. Um, that's the only one that I can think of that, like, could it? I mean, flares and chaff and can't do shit to a Patriot system, but, like, that level of maneuverability, I have questions. I don't know. First time on a live stream, big, big, big fan. Elijah, I'm a big fan of you. Honestly, all you guys. I fucking love this shit. I do this... I do these streams on Friday because for me, I don't know if you guys know this, and I probably haven't said it in a while. For me, I never wanted to be out of reach as a social media content creator. I never wanted to be like, like there are creators out there that I love that I've met, but there's no way to interact with them. You know, you post in the comment section, and you just kind of hope and pray that they read it. And I never wanted to be that. And it's really hard. It is, it is fucking daunting being full-time army, full-time content creator, and then making sure that I do this. It's, it's daunting. So, I appreciate you guys being patient with me about everything. I also, I have two 
potential as soon as I get them build new designs coming out uh, for for the the merch line. I'm excited about both of them. I will tell you right now, as soon as they're live, I'm buying both of them and for myself because they're fucking tits. I love them. 20 cubic feet of dense tungsten weighing just over 24,000 pounds from Google. Fuck. I, I mean, I knew, I know tungsten's dense. I mean, at that point, because tungsten is also really, tungsten is a natural forming thing. It is a natural thing. So is depleted uranium, but depleted uranium is in a lot larger supply. And the hardness of those, those two, like the difference in hardness of tungsten versus depleted uranium is almost negligible. Except for when we're talking about like armor piercing rounds, then you want to go with tungsten. Um, but the hardness of both and the weight of both and density of both is, is almost negligible. 6.2 pounds per cubic inch. Jesus, 0.62 pounds. Do we appreciate you? Aw. Hey, HLCs are true. We're retiring the A10. Yes. Now there is, there is, and weapons is going to, I'm, I'm going to hurt, I'm going to hurt weapons here because I'm going to try and say what he said because I was in the, um, I, I was in a chat with weapons uh, last weekend. If you guys are in the Discord, if I have time, I don't get to do it as often as I want to. Every once in a while, if I'm just playing a video game by myself, I'll hop in like the chat. If you see me in a chat, hop in. I don't care. Hop in and fucking shoot the shit with me. I just shoot the shit with everybody that's in there. Do not be afraid of me. I want you to know that. Um, so you can ask questions and, and whatever. Um, but I was in there with weapons and somebody asked something about the Super A-10. And the Super A-10, it, it, was, like, it was like a pipe dream. Uh, you know, we built it. Like it was, a, it was a design. It was, a, it was a concept, but it's not going to go into full production. Again, I love the A10. It has, it has so much Would capability. It's a me? really great aircraft. I'd intercept me. If they're retiring it, they're going to build something forward. better. Where I, I don't know what that is. The Gao Eight is just a phenomenal weapon tonight? system. Um, I don't know. Knowing what little I know about airframes, aside from increasing the amount of thrust that it has to give it a little bit higher top speed and maybe giving it stealth capability, I really can't think of any other way to improve that platform. I really can't. Now, if they can make it cheaper and do that, that's a fucking win. You owe me a lot. No, but you owe me nothing, man. It was all you. Sorry, I say man to every... I, I've even broed my wife before. I want you guys to know that. Like, I've told stories to my wife right next to her and I'm like, bro. And she's like, did you just bro me? I did. I did. Uh, European Texas videos have made me look if Poland allows dual citizenship. <laughs> Dude, Poland, like, the longer you dig into what Poland is doing, they're becoming a very strong military power. The TU-160M is the new bomber. Whites want upgrade. Okay. I'm going to have to look into that. Oh, my gosh. What? Hold on, I'm looking. Mrs. Line Crosser said there was a there was a big super chat that just came through. Did I miss it? Oh no, I didn't. RC Ford, where's the kid? Thought he was gonna be hosting tonight. Um, um, I left it at work. Somebody made me a, a a poster and cut out the guy that I was just on the podcast for is a poster with the um, eyes and mouth cut out. It was the United States, but would you intercept me? I'd intercept me. So RC Ford, what do you want to talk about? I got to get it done. I got to go fight this, the, the possum for a chicken nugget again. I'm going to get that nugget this time. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. RC Ford, thank you so much, man. Again, guys, I, I want you to know I, I am thankful for anything that is that is given to me and that you know that you guys want to donate to me i'm absolutely thankful it doesn't matter if it's a penny hundred dollars it doesn't matter what it is i am i am absolutely thankful for but i also want you to know the only thing i will ever ask you is just to watch that's all i'll ever ask and i want to make sure that i get the merch put together that you guys want so that way you can get the merch that you want because like i want that as a shirt i read those and i try and make that happen for you please read all the super chats love i'm working on it what happens to ghosts when Earth gets destroyed? Do they float off the cosmos? Okay, hold up. Skinny, skinny Thor, you're not allowed to fuck me up like that. Because now... Bro, you just like fucking suicide bombed my train of thought at the station. That is going to fuck me up for the next week. I'm going to ask everybody I know about that. That is going to mess me up, bro. 
What do you guys think? Like, I, when Earth gets like swallowed up by the sun, which will eventually happen in like, I don't know, like two billion years or something. What happens to all the ghosts? I don't know. Classified trip with Israel with Space Force to learn about laser beams? Ooh! I'd love to. Stop your giving weapons and aneurysm in Discord. <laughs> I'm sorry, weapons. I'm sorry. Um, will we learn something if we hop in the chat? Absolutely. I will try and help you guys out as much as I possibly can. I will give you as much information and I will, I'm candid about everything. The USS New Jersey is going to the dry dock? Oh, let me check the Discord real quick. I want to see how weapons is doing. Let me see weapons. Where's my Discord? There it is. Um, servers. Where's weapons? I'm looking for them. I'm in the smoke pit. Is he? Oh, no, he's... You guys are in... Uh, you guys are in Talk To Me, Goose. That's where y'all are at. Okay, I, I can't pop in there right now. Is Joel eliminated yet? <laughs> I I feel like Joel is an acronym for something. I feel like it's not actually a, a, a thing. Yeah, I, I'm aware there's Super Chats love. I, I, I stopped it, and I'm scrolling down as I go through. Bro... I heard it's a phenomenal aircraft that they're going to retire it, then they're making something better. And I instantly knew it was the A-10. <laughs> I, so I didn't know this. The Gao 8, again, this is secondhand knowledge I got from the curator at the Air Defense Artillery Museum. They have a big fucking Gatling gun, like on a trailer. It's a huge one. And it was made uh, right at the end of World War II before we did like Korea and Panama. And they were just like, how big of a Gatling gun can we put on a chassis? And they did it. And I want to say it was like a 27 or something like that. And I, apparently it's the predecessor for the Gao 8. I don't know how true that is. That's just what he said. Um, and he was like, it was really cool, except its magazine was really small and it would burn through it in three seconds. And then it took an hour to reload. And I was like, that's that's not okay um <laughs> the missus stays on my back man I, I love that video when the kid said he was fighting a possum <laughs> tempest the fight tempest the fighter jet i'm not familiar with that one hold on did i miss one no i didn't i just missed this one uh just got to the chat from doing taxes Ooh, i feel you there man i'm almost done with mine well my tax person is almost done with them See lots of EW talks, EA, EA 10 Warthog? Mm. I'll be honest with you, off the top of my head, I have no idea what the loitering time of an A-10 is. I know that whenever we had trouble, they were usually the first ones to get to us. I don't know if that's because they were faster. I don't know if that's because they were in the area. I have no idea. They were usually the first ones to get to us. Granted, we only use them like twice. Um... But having that electronic warfare capability on board, I, bro, the, the growler is heavy. I don't even know if you'd have enough thrust in those motors. I don't know. The A10s, she got a lot of, she got a lot of um, lift because the size of the wings. I don't know. I mean, the Gao 8 in general is terrifying. Like it's just, it's, it's a, it's a terrifying weapon system. It's, it's one of those things that America did just because like. Why not? Like the knife missile. Okay, like this is the thing. The knife missile, the, the, the R, R9X Hellfire, the, there's no, there's no, like I can't, I'm trying to like put my brain in the logic of that. They're like, we need to design a missile that doesn't cause collateral damage. You could use literally just an inert missile. Think about it. You could use, I mean, a missile that just has no payload in it and hit a person with a missile. But no, there was an engineer who watches way too many fucking samurai movies was like, mm, what about pop out blades? Because like it, that part doesn't even make sense. Those blades are not aerodynamic. They're not even curved back. They're just out. Like the fact that we did that is just the strangest. It doesn't make any sense. Can you imagine? Like, if Russia came out with a knife missile, Americans would have been like, those guys are fucking crazy. 
Why did we do that? I got it. The point is to, like, we need a missile that can hit targets without causing collateral damage. Great. You could have done anything else. You could have you could have filled it with beanie babies. If it's hitting somebody at Mach 2, it doesn't matter. But they, they decided to put fucking, like, 13-inch blades on... <laughs> On a missile. I, I fucking love America so much. We do things just because we can. There's there's no logical reason. Like, I've, I've wrapped my head around that one. There's there's zero logic in that. Sorry, I was just... Uh, does HLC actually get that money from Super Chat, or does YouTube keep most of it? No, actually, the way Super Chat... So, the Raven, the way Super Chats work, I... Unlike Twitch, so Twitch they do like a 60-40 split. So, if you do like a, a, a Twitch uh, like donation... 60% of that goes to Twitch, 40% goes to the individual. YouTube, 100% of that goes to me, 100%. They don't keep any of the Super Chats because um, it's the way it's, it's tax different because it's considered a donation. So it's like pulled, set aside, and it's it's not touched. Yeah, 100% of that goes to the individual. Ghosts, commie ghosts, they want to paint the moon red. A10C is a freaking Super A10. Is it? I'll be honest with you, weapons. I know you know this shit, and I know you know it well. If you put me next to an A10, B, C, D, fucking any of the alphabet, and you said, tell me the difference, couldn't do it. Sorry, man. I really, like, I can tell the difference between some aircraft. Like, some people, like, I don't know the difference between a fucking, uh, like, a Cobra and Apache. There's a big difference between Cobra and Apache. Cobra and Apache. Like, skids versus wheels. That's probably the first thing you need to look at. And armament. That's another thing you need to look at. And fucking overall size. And Apache is huge. What is going on, Sim Simmerman? Sorry. Uh, A10C Tusk 3 is the latest. Tusk. I like that name. Because we tankers have a Tusk, too. Uh, it's called the Tank Urban Survival Kit. That's the Tusk. Loitering time. Hang on to weapons. There is no answer for that loitering time. Okay. Fair enough. Hang on. I want to, before I get to that one. All right, cool. I did not miss it. So Tiger One said, yes, Mrs. Line Crosser. <laughs> She's like, weapons is going to grill you. You two need to talk. All right. Weapons over this weekend. I will make a point one of these evenings. I'll hop in. I'll play some more of that video game and we can shoot the shit, man. Because I do got... I do. We'll keep it obviously unclassed because I don't feel like having the FBI kick in my door. But I have some questions about an RWR. And if you can answer, please. If you can't, I respect it. I understand. I know exactly where you're coming from. But there's just, there's some things that happened with that fratricide incident that got my missile tism on fucking overload. Um, what are your thoughts on the Abrams X and the Rhine Metal KF-51 Panther? I'm not familiar with the KF-51. I'm not familiar with it. I'm sorry. I, I know it's a tank. Sorry. I don't... I, at least I think it's a tank. Might be an APC. Again, I have no familiarity there. The Abrams X. So... I think the Abrams X is going to be an example of a... How do I word this? A failed experiment. Don't take that the wrong way. Does it look cool? Yeah. Is it capable? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. But I feel like they tried to make a stealth tank, and that, that entire concept is pretty dumb. Um, for a fraction of that cost, they could take all those new targeting systems and everything the Abrams X, X can do, put it in an Abrams chassis, make it a net upgrade, and call it like a SEP V5 or some shit, or an M1A3. Um, because at least from my foxhole, again, don't know a whole lot about the Abrams X, but from my foxhole, what I, what I gather... Is that the Abrams X has, aside from like auto loading and all the other, the other cool features it has, it's not more armored than what we currently have. Um, now, you know, there, some would argue, well, it's got a couple more millimeters here, it's a couple more millimeters here, you know, it's lighter, blah, 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 you know, all these things. When you're talking about tank on tank warfare and especially anti tank guided weapons, that that difference is is almost negligible. And think about a Sabo. Uh, a Sabo, for those of you who don't know, a lot of people think a Sabo is like a really hot round. and not necessarily. A SABO or TPC SDS-T or excuse me SDS-S, which stands for Tank Penetrating Cartridge Self-Discarding SABO. Um, 
All it is is it's a depleted uranium dart. It's about it's about that long, um, and it's traveling at oh, what's the muzzle velocity? Six thousand two hundred eighty feet per second. It's a thousand feet per second faster than a mile a second, um, and it has the kinetic energy of a freight train coming off a seventy-story building. Now, the interesting thing about a Sabo is when it hits something, your only hope at survival is that it hits at an angle of your armor that it deflects. If it is a direct hit, nothing can stop it. Even our armor can't stop it. Like, if you get a direct hit with a Sabo, nothing will save you. Like, it's just the way it is. And they have Sabos, we have Sabos. So, um, and then, of course, with the development of anti-tank guided weapons, you know, back in the day, you see a Sherman coming through. And you had, you know, a Panzerfaust and you had to hit it in certain spots or else you were not getting through. And now tanks are at a serious disadvantage in urban combat. You know, a, a couple of good anti-tank teams can annihilate an entire column of tanks, which is the way the Ukrainians have been holding back Russian armor is with anti-tank guided weapons that they use in mad pad configuration. So it's, yeah. Um... Great idea, but I don't think they're going to actually go through with it. I think they're going to take the guts of it and put it in a, a an operational chassis. I, Mrs. Line Crosser, I, I'm I'm pausing at each one, answering questions, and then moving on. Bert and Ernie, they were a bow hunter. <laughs> there it is. It's a blade missile. Not scary or sorry. Looks like a lobotomy spike. Yeah. The R9X Hellfire, man. Late to formation and HLZ is in full missiletism. Don't you judge me. I'm trying. Did I miss any more? Oh, man. RC Ford with another 100. Thank you so much, my dude. I, I guess my headphones have shut off again because I didn't hear it. Knife missile sounds like something Canadians will come up with. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I absolutely agree with you. I thought France's decision to triple down and send troops to Ukraine. I personally am glad they found their balls after World War II. I'd... So I look, I look at everything from a strategic point of view. And saying that there's no reward. You, you corner a nuclear capable enemy. You make them feel more desperate than they already are. So like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I personally, individually, myself, I feel like Ukraine is on the right side of this conflict. That's my personal belief. I don't judge you if you feel otherwise. I have my reasons. If you ever met me offline and you wanted to talk about these things, I can give you my reasoning. You can give me yours. And maybe we'll learn something from each other. Um, that being said, I I don't know. I don't know what, what the, the thought process is there. So I'm, I'm a little curious. But uh, yeah. Knife missile blunderbuss of the sky. I've never heard it put that way, and I really like it. All right, there we go. I got caught back up on those. Let me continue down. RC Ford again. Thank you so much, my dude. Uh, didn't the U.S. build the kid just because we could? Yes. The the kid, the kid was just. How do I word this? I think that the kid was the perfection of the F-14 Tomcat. Stay with me. Some people are going to disagree with this, but here is my logic. The F-14 Tomcat is, how do I word this? It was America's first attempt, and instead of building a great fighter, we built something that could end the fight before the enemy knew it was there. That was what the F-14 Tomcat was there for. It was just, we want something with this missile that can reach way the fuck out there. We want something that can get a firing solution way the fuck out there. And we want to be able to blow them out of the sky before we even have to have to fucking get within visual range. That, that is what we did. Okay. Um, the F-22 is designed to end a fight before it is seen. Can it dogfight? Absolutely. Is it capable? Absolutely. But the way a stealth aircraft really gets its power is actually leaving its radar off. So the way when you have two aircraft that are coming at each other, this is a little, little air stuff for you guys. This is radar stuff, weapons. I know this stuff, so stay with me. Okay. Um, so you have two aircraft coming at each other. You have this aircraft 
projecting with its radar, this aircraft projecting with its radar. Once their radars get within range of each other, they can eventually, their systems will pick up a little bit of radar interference coming from that direction. They don't have an actual radar lock at that point, but what they do is they're, they're picking up radiation in the air in a certain direction, and they can kind of know, okay, I need to get on a little bit to the right. The beauty of a stealth aircraft is one, you know, enemy aircraft in the air has their radar on looking for enemy aircraft. Stealth aircraft has their radar off or in passive. Passive is just receive only. That's pretty much, think about it like a radio you can't talk through, but you can only hear through like that. Um, as it closes, this aircraft producing radiation, eventually the end of that radiation will hit that stealth aircraft. Stealth aircraft now doesn't have its radar on, isn't detected by this radar, and now knows exactly the direction that that threat is coming from. So they can get a little bit closer, kick on their radar at the last second, then this person's gonna pick up radar, get a missile lock, fire their missile, and peel off before they're ever seen. This person knows there's a radar lock, or like knows that there's radar out there, but he doesn't see the aircraft still. So that's, that's the beauty of it. So that's, does that make sense? With Sabo, your own armor becomes shrapnel. With Sabo, you're, it be, you become the world's worst Play-Doh set. Uh, it'll literally take you um, everything in a tank that is not strapped down and shove you out a hole this big around. Um, at least from what I was told. Really don't want a, a nuclear war? Yeah, me neither. I'd like to avoid that. Whoever invented the R9X... Her, you can't take a knife to a fight. So I think, so the R9X, the beauty of it, and I was making a joke to my buddy uh, last night because he just PCS. He's my he's my work boo, man. Me and him are tight. And um, I think it's the full circle. Of, so, you know, way back in the day, we had like sticks and and swords. And before like bows were existed or crossbows, somebody said, I want to be able to stab that guy way over there. And so like we invented bows and then we invented guns. And now somebody's like, what if we could stab somebody 3,000 miles away? That's what that is. That's the full circle of that. Was the social media fame a happy accident or a buried hope? Either way, well-deserved. Um, honestly, like, I get the worst imposter syndrome. I don't, I don't feel any different. I feel just like a same normal guy. Um... But the benefit of having this amount of reach on social media is, for those of you who don't know, the reason I do social media and the reason I do like comedy is because I've had some really horrible things happen in my life. Um, and I, I know that when I make a video and I make people laugh, they don't feel like I did during those times. Now, I can't make you happy forever, but for those couple minutes when you're watching my video, everything fades away. And the benefit of having such a large following is that I can continue to affect that many people. Like it gives me a metric of people that I can affect. And that, that for me is the big win when it comes to social media. Um, I guess that, that's kind of the way that I look at it. I hope, uh, I hope that makes sense. Sorry, I'm, I'm not a white knight. I'm actually a douchebag. Just, uh, you know, aim 54 Phoenix, AKA the mighty chalk. <laughs> she go a long way out. Heavy wings and a fat ass F-14, but she, she looked good. Can radar detect another radar's radar waves? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's called, uh, can I say what it's called? Yeah, I can. Side lobe interference. Yeah, I can say what it's called. At least with me, it's called side lobe interference. Play with me, Longbow, 24 mile, AH 64. Longbow was, a, again, another one of those things that we just did because we could. And I, I love that whole idea. We're going to put a radar on top of something so we can hide behind hills, lock on to 12 different targets, pop up, unleash hell, and then hide again before they impact. Like, that's just... Why would you ever need that? I love it. It's so good. Is the AIM-260 the new one that is the 120, but it's like shorter? So the F-22 can now carry, instead of six, it can carry 12. Is that the one I'm thinking of? There was a new, there was a new missile that came out that has the same capability and speed of an AIM-120, but it's literally half the size, so you can carry twice as many of them. Over the last two years, I was involved with the Abramex development as a third party. It's not supposed to be stealth, just lightweight, and personally, I didn't, it didn't inspire confidence, fun to shoot. It looks cool as shit. Again, it looks cool as shit, Thwack. Awesome fucking platform. Um, 
I don't know if the autoloader is the right way. To, I think it has an autoloader because I think it's only a two-man crew, three-man crew, uh, which any tank that has a three-man crew or a two-man crew has an autoloader um, because you need a tank commander and you need a driver. Unless they're doing remote control driving, which would be weird. Um, sorry, brain brain went into fucking tanktism. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I love your, villa, your videos. Logan, sorry, my dyslexia kicked in, Logan. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that I can make you guys happy. So do I, HLC, to be honest. Need an FBI open up sound clip. I used to have a lot of sound clips. Uh, do I still have a few? Hold on, let me turn my headphones back on because I guarantee they... There we go. Why are you running? Why are you running? I had your kids. Had your wife and had your husband because they raping everybody out here. But it's political bullshit. A black man with a funny name. Hey, did you guys hear? Uh, sorry, totally off topic. Did you guys hear about a supersonic underwater submarine? Which I thought was crazy uh, until I looked into it. It's called. Uh, oh man, hold on. I there's. It's a word that I'm not familiar with. It's a process called supercavitation where they take a submarine and they literally create an air pocket in front of it. And it's, it's a theory right now. It's, it's a theory because there's so many things that are, that are, that are wrong with this. And I'll explain in a minute, but super cavitation is where you create an air pocket in front of an underwater object and it, it creates its own like vacuum and atmosphere in there and it can travel at those kind of speeds. No, no, no. So they were talking about a. I know what you're talking about, Lee. Uh, the the Russian they had a, a torpedo, but the U.S. is was working on not officially a um, an unmanned submarine that you could do this with. Uh, the problem that they've ran into, aside from every other thing, is of course turning. Turning at those speeds, you're going to rip the object object apart. Uh, and number two is um, standard props, like a regular prop, can't move water at those speeds. So you'd have to have some onboard solid state rocket fuel to be able to travel at those kind of speeds. But it, I thought that was a really cool thing. I never heard of super cav cavitation. Super cavitation, look up the Sheikval torpedo. Oh, did they actually finish it? Shaking water so hard, air falls. Is that what it is? I'm, I'm not... theoretical i <laughs> i do the same thing too theoretical i do that all the damn time all the fucking time basically shoot a missile underwater yeah and i, I just for me it, there's there's some issues there all right bros have a fantastic night be better tomorrow than you were today absolutely lock be 10 percent better tomorrow than you were today or be 10 percent worse but would the person yesterday be proud of you being worse I completely forgot there's a war in Israel, Florida, stopping spring break college kids for having fun. Florida's the state that fun is supposed to... Wait. Florida stopping spring break? That's like a huge tourist destination that gets them a shit ton of money. Pretty much super cavitation is an underwater railgun. Now we're in weapons territory, huh? Weapons? You know anything about super cavitation underwater? He's gonna, he's gonna fucking lose his mind on me. Um... You don't think I'm in the military? All right, reactions. I wish you the best in your future endeavors, man. But uh, look, if I'm not in the military, can you can you tell my Sergeant Major not to have me show up to PT? I would really like to not show up to PT. I I want to sleep in. I I'm just really want to sleep in. Have you seen the Revolutionary War submarine? Oh, uh, fuck it. Oh man. No, actually, I was I was thinking of uh, the ironclad fucking like the first ever coal or steam powered battleship. Um, I believe it was Confederate. Might have been Union. Yeah, that thing. Super cavitation star <laughs> sounds like the start of a, a Mary Poppins joke. I love it. Talking about futuristic subs. Anyone watch Sequest DSV? I do not. Bro, if you're not in Oklahoma, can we please leave Oklahoma? <laughs> if you're not in the military, can we please leave Oklahoma? I, I agree, man. 
I agree. With the Nordic countries all being part of NATO, we need a longship character. That's actually not a half bad idea. That is, I love that. The VA-111 torpedo, I'll put it, I'll put it in the notes. In fact, PT this weekend, don't you put that evil on me, Metal. Don't you do that. Just wear two PT belts and you'll be protected from having to do PT. <laughs> My 21 is in the wrong business. We need to, we need a chat. What what happened? Civil War. Oh. What happened? You trying to get somebody to join the military? I mean, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a recruiter, but hey. Let me see. Yeah, it wasn't fully submerged. It's been over for years. <laughs> she I would love to go back to New Mexico. She would love to go back to New Mexico. My opinion on railguns, good for the land, sea, defense, combat, horrible on ships. There's potential, but good God, it needs refinement. I am i haven't, and I'm kind of like upset at myself for this because I worked with NAVSEAS or NAVSEA um, out at White Sands. I, I knew the guys at NAVSEA, uh, well, Desert Ship and NAVSEA. And uh, they, I can say that. There was a railgun out there before the program got canceled. Um, they would shoot it. They offered to get me out there to, to watch them shoot it. And I never fucking went. And I kind of hate myself for that. I, I feel really bad. Uh, my opinion on rail. Oh, yeah. Are we going to, uh, when am I going to warrant officer school? So, Alex, uh, you, you might have missed the video. It's okay if you did. It's not a big deal. Um, I pulled my packet. I pulled my packet from warrant officer. And I've decided that I'm just going to I'm gonna part ways with the military. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. And... Warrant officer has a six-year ad so six-year additional duty service obligation, and I I can be out in two. I'm I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready. I, honestly, bro, if I could go to my home state, I could plant roots and not deploy. I'd stay in the army forever. Absolutely. I just want to go back to New Mexico, buy me a house, actually like plant roots, and not have to deploy again. I'd be set. I'd be fucking set but they won't do that for me. Come to Georgia? Oh, hell no. I'll go visit Georgia. I ain't gonna live there. Sorry, Major Call. It said you have staff duty tomorrow. D -d -d Bring the pain? We're gonna fight. I do on the 22nd, though. Mrs. HLC, come to Canada. We love y'all. Wolfram, I, I do plan on coming up to Canada. I don't know when or where, um, but I do plan on going up to Canada. Oh, see, Mrs. HLC already answered you. What do I think about the Phalanx, the CRAM, the LPWS, the land-based Phalanx weapon system? I think it's a phenomenal weapon system. I really, I, I enjoy it. Shout out to the Navy for designing the fucking thing. Um, Navy built the SeaWiz, the close-in weapon system. We gave it a TAN, put it on a trailer, gave it a generator, and it's CRAM. Well, LPWS. And um, great weapon system. It's a important piece in a good layered air defense. Um... And it's really cool to see it shoot. They were shooting them out here last week. Because, like, we were sitting at home, and we're not too far from the ranges here on Fort Sill. And just the whole house, you'd hear, like, and I'm like, ah, there we go. That's, that's CRAM. I was trying to go outside and see if you could see the traces in the air, but nah, I couldn't see it. So our major said mandatory fun day this weekend. You metal mania. You're, you're, a, you're a maniac. What will reti retired... <laughs> What will retarded HLCs? Obviously, don't guys, what we're going to do. Oh my God. Um, what will retired HLC hobbies look like? Um, this may sound strange. So Jarhead, I'm going to jump up to this because I just saw it in New Mexico. I am from Colorado. I will never go back to Colorado as long as I live. Um, love it. I'll go visit. I'll never live there again. Uh, I just, everything I want is in New Mexico. Um, so... My hobbies, and this may sound strange to you guys, I like honeydews. I, I like doing manual labor. It's it's strange. I want a project card that I don't have to scramble to get put together in three years. I, I want to work on, you know, I, I want to rebuild or uh, like, um, what is it? Like redo a bathroom. I, I want to put up gutters. I want to mow the grass. Like I... I, I Fuck, man, I, I like doing shit like that, and I haven't been able to in my entire adult life. And I want to not have this clock hanging over my head 
for three years at a time. Uh, you know, every time I go somewhere, it's like, well, I got, you know, two years and nine months until I have to leave again. I got two years and four months. Like, there's just a clock hanging over top of your head. And I, I'm so tired of that. I just, I don't know. That's that's what it's going for me. And of course, I'm going to really dig into the uh, the content creation because I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been working my fingers to the bone trying to solve some technological issues that I'm having with editing. And we're going to get there. We're going to get there. I don't know when, but we're going to get there. I call 10th degree bullshit on this, maybe in space, but not water. The 188th was an A10 near where I live, but has gone to drones now. Hold, hold on. Ed, Ed, Edgen the legend? Ed, Ed, Edgen? Um, the super cavitation? It's theoretical. It, they, they haven't designed it yet. Or at least it's still theoretical for now. I have no idea. Look, man, Uncle Sam... Uncle Sam spends way too much on R&D for us not to have the coolest toys. Geneva suggestions there a lot. This man was born in New Mexico. I live there. So I was born in Colorado, but I I love New Mexico. What part of Mexico do you want to settle down at? I'll be in Las Cruces. I don't like Albuquerque. Uh, I've been there. It reminds me a lot of Denver. There are nice parts of Al Albuquerque. There are shitty parts of Albuquerque, but I like Las Cruces. I mean, you're not too far from El Paso. You got the Elephant Butte Hot Springs. You got, I mean, I can pop over to Arizona. There's a lot to do around there. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Plus the cost of living is not bad. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. Mm, cost of living is awful. No one wants to live there. You shouldn't live there. <laughs> How did Colorado hurt you? I grew up in Colorado before the legalization of recreational cannabis. When they legalized it, everybody and their fucking mother moved there. The traffic is astronomical. The cost of living is through the roof. The people, they used to be nice. Like you would see somebody and walk past them on the street. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, how's it going? And you, like people were polite to each other. Now it's, it's a fucking cesspool, man. Like, it, it, which sucks because it's my home state, but it'll never be what it was. And I, I can't imagine, like I can't. Like my brain can't wrap around uprooting me and my entire family over a plant like that. I can't, am I going to when I get out? Yeah, probably. But like, I can't imagine like one day they legalize fucking meth somewhere and I grab the wife and I say, we're going and just uproot us. I can't imagine that. Of course, an ADA guy wants to be near White Sands. Of course, you know, just in case I get me another job out there. G-Van is the unsub ed editor. Yes, I know G-Van. G-Van is good people. Um, G van has helped, tried to help me with my technological issue and we're not there yet. Work on a project car and convert it to a CNG. I want to, uh, so they don't sell them here in the U S I don't know if anyone in chat right now is overseas. Um, sounds like you want to crack house like Avery cops. Oh no, no, My house will be, my house will be built. Like it'll be, it'll be nice, but just in case, just in case. Um, but, um, oh my God, what was I talking about? Yeah, project. So they don't sell them in the U S and they're very, very expensive. So I'm, I'm kind of torn, um, because obviously everyone's heard of a Helix Surf. A Helix Surf is a forerunner, but with a little 1.4 liter diesel, turbo diesel in it. And they're highly collectible, but I want to build an overlander with my brother and, um, come to find out i was like you can buy the motors in the u.s i'll just buy an old forerunner with a blown motor and tranny and i'll put a brand new 4bt in it by the way the motors are ten thousand dollars in the united states so that probably not going to happen but there's a dude on instagram i can't remember his name and he has i have never in my life been a land rover fan i don't like land rovers not a fan of them but he has a diesel discovery and it's built, it's lifted, chopped and rolled fenders, aftermarket axles, and it is a sexy bitch. That is the first time in my life a British person has had a car. And I thought, fuck, I want that. Why isn't that in the United States? It's literally the only time in my life this has ever happened. And I I could probably get a, a either a wrecked or a uh, you know blown motor, like old Discovery for pretty cheap. And those motors are going for about two grand. Uh, in the U.S., so I may do that, um, but I, I just I, I want to build something you don't really see every day, and I want to have it. You know, it'll be nice, but it'll be used. It'll be useful. 
my 97 Yoda 3.4 worth 20k. Pfft. Bro, some of them, some of them new fucking like the Helix Surfs are going for like 50 to 70 thousand dollars in the United States because they're so rare and they're so sought after. Uh, the Diesel Discoveries are like twenty two thousand dollars over in fucking Japan where my brother's at. Um, stateside, I found one of them for sale. Guy wants fifty eight thousand dollars for it, as he should. Uh, <laughs> The old Chevy Love 4x4 Banger Diesel. Ooh, a Chevy Love. That wouldn't actually be... I. That actually is kind of an interesting concept. Making a diesel Chevy Love. I kind of like it. And it wouldn't make a bad Overlander. It's a small chassis. I would just have to upgrade the axles to like half ton. Probably put in like leaf spring or maybe even Lincoln coil suspension. Get a... Three quarter ton transmission and transfer case. 410 front and rear. It would it would pretty much be what I want, but with a love body on it. <laughs> Station there in two, 2009. Didn't leave anything there in Cali. Love Land Rovers grew up on them that hurt my soul. I again I've just I've never I've never liked that design. You guys are gonna laugh. You wanna hear some funny shit? Um you wanna hear some funny shit. I think, aesthetically pleasing, looking at them, I think the Toyota FJ Cruiser is one of the coolest looking when they're built, right? Like they got fucking roof rack, fucking aftermarket tires, bead lockers, winch, lift kit, like when they're built right. I think they're one of the sexiest fucking vehicles on the road. But if you're not laughing, you probably should know that an FJ Cruiser often spends more time in the shop than it does on the road. They're one of the most woefully unreliable vehicles that have ever existed. So maybe like take an FJ Cruiser body and put it on like a fucking K5 Blazer frame and just like, there's my FJ Cruiser. Uh, <laughs> Helix are amazing. I know every time I saw the fucking Taliban out there with them motherfuckers, it's like, you, you are a lucky bitch. I want that truck, you sons of bitches. Uh, uh, I'm constipated, I watch your videos for the pressure laugh. <laughs> I think forces the ego to land. I, I'm helping people in more ways than one. More ways than one. I wonder if that's, you know, I could be a non-profit. I help the constipated. I might make that into a joke. Same as Land Rovers. Mirandy Griffin. What is my address? I'm, I'm in Oklahoma. I'm in, I'm in Fort Sill. Making my autism stem. <laughs> what it do? What is up, Scoop Tube? They were factory. Kubota, Kubota. I know, I know the company. Kubota, Kubota. I don't know how to say the damn name. Kubota. Swap. Want a British car that is cool no matter what? Where, uh, where it is? Morgan, look them up. I'll check it out. Australia just has Hilux. Yeah, dude. Aussie's got that shit. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> I had my uncle's 90 Chevy Love pickup, having worked on the motor enough. My friends and I claimed the Japanese were still fighting World War II. Replacing the starter was a four-day job. Did it have it inside the bell housing? I don't know. Listen, if you're a vehicle engineer for Nissan or whoever decided to put the starter inside the bell housing of the transmission, I hope you stub your toe. And when you go to catch yourself, you other your other foot steps on a Lego every day for the rest of your life. And when I say Nissan, people are like, well, what's wrong with Nissan? They make the Skyline, the R32, 34, all that shit. Yes, I agree. But a Nissan Titan has the starter on top of the motor behind the intake manifold married up against the fucking bell housing. Why? You got to remove both headers. You got to remove the, the motor mounts. You have to lower the engine between the frame just to get to the motherfucker because it's pressed up against the firewall. Who designed that? 69 GTO Judge jumped to price disgusting amount last year, for, or last like six or seven years. Oh, yeah. You got an old Judge? That's a sexy fucking car, man. I, I love the Judge. They're, they're hard to find. My dream car is actually, it's not a Judge. Uh, it's a 70 uh, Challenger RT. Um, either in plum crazy purple with a black vinyl top or mother pearl white with the blue pinstriping. Yes, the vanishing point car. Um, but I my second, my close second, almost sometimes in first would be a Hemi Cuda. I love a good fastback, man. They took my tax dollars. Q 
Kibota, Kibota, Ye, Kibota. I'm fucking, yeah, I'm retarded. Phone randomly closed. I was the last best basic training class at Fort Sill that was all male before they went co-ed. Really? That's showing your age there, bud. I was the last, uh, I was the third to last class that went through Fort Knox Disney Barracks. El Camino Corvette engine. My old uh, Sar Major had a um, Chevy, I want to say it was the C10. It was the 60s model. I'm not familiar with 60s Chevy pickups. This thing was stripped down, 0% body fat. It was one of those like like Rusto mods where it looked all rusted, but it was all clear coated. Like the whole body was perfect. It just kind of looked old and faded and rusty like he wanted it that way. And uh, he went by one day and uh, me and a bunch of other fucking nerds. Uh, we see him go by and he had like aftermarket wheels on it. And um, they were like, man, what do you think he has in there? It didn't sound loud. It didn't sound like he had a big cam or nothing. And I like looking at the truck, I was like, he's got horsepower. They're like, how can you tell? And I pointed at the brakes. I was like, he's got fucking, he's got Brembo's. You don't spend money on brakes unless you need to be able to stop something that can move. And Sergeant Major parked and he got out. And I was like, Sergeant Major, what do you got in there? Like we all, because we all had bets. My money was LS swap. Um, I don't know which LS it was. Uh, they were talking, you know, 350. Uh, one of the guys said uh, fucking Chevy 454. And he got out. I was like, what do you got in there, Sergeant Major? We got to go and bet. And he's like, LS. Called it. I think it was LS. Three? It was an older LS. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was an LS swap. How about those micro cars they hurt? The GTR is so cool. I, I, I don't know. I think it's a... Hmm. Got some family outside of Oklahoma City. Saw a judge in Northeast Oklahoma last week. What'd you do? You get in trouble? Protocol 4. All right, Zach, I got it. Hold on. Let's see if they, they haven't heard anything. Watch the, watch the dog cam. Here, Miss Rain. Here, Mr. Knox. Here, you want to come up? Come up for it. Come on. Can people see you? All right, you got your two treats. All right, go on, bud. I was scrolling through. I just saw protocol four. So I have, I have an old truck. I have an old truck. I have a 1975 Power Wagon um, W100 on a six-inch lift with 35s. I might have a picture of it. If I can pull it up, let me see. Let me, let me show you my old Power Wagon. Um, I think it's in that file. Uh, there, there, oh, no, not that one. There, there. I wonder if I have any old photos of her. Hold on, I might, I might have it. I gotta find them. I guess I don't. I got old deployment photos, like a shit ton of them, but. Oh, wait. This is before I did some work to it. Um, let me see. This is, that's, that's before the lift kit. Come on, hold on. I gotta have some after lift pictures. Uh, yeah, there we go. You guys are going to laugh. You're not allowed to laugh. Okay? Not allowed to laugh. No laughing. Oh, man. Hold on. Uh, oh, there he goes. Why did it pop up and then go away? Okay, here we go. Um, that's my old 75 Power Wagon. That's my dad. Um, it has bigger tires on it now. Those were 33s. It's got 35s now and wider wheels. And I got to do some more work to it. It's it's not there yet, but yeah, that's uh, that's my old 75 Power Wagon. What's up from the Germans? Oh my gosh, the Germans! I hear ya. Sorry, I'm trying to stay up on everything. 
Hold on. I need to go back to the top. Okay, there we go. Um, you should do a video with Grandpa Buff and the AC-130 sharing war stories. I could make it like a competition one. That would be fun. Who's done more of what? Yeah. What's the kid's favorite Lunchable? Mine's going to be pizza. Mainly because the creator never had Lunchables as a kid because he grew up poor. I didn't have Lunchables, man. My Lunchables were like the shit my mom put in a thing. Hey, 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 Wendy. My power wagon is the shit. Before you go, what does it mean to not give in to the 22 a day? That's a great question, Black Jim. Uh, so the 22 a day refers to 22 veterans a day. Um, wait, is that... Is that Mrs. Boone? Holy shit. Um, guys... Sorry, celebrity in chat. Wendy Boone is uh, the wife of uh, one of the guys I went to Afghanistan with. We still talk. He's a great dude. Boone, I mean, he's a fucking uh, one of our gun team guys. He was a mechanic. The dude ran as many patrols as I did. He's good people. Um, him and his wife, I think they just celebrated 14 years, question mark? Uh, congratulations, by the way. Um, so 22 a day refers to the 22 veterans a day that commit suicide. And what I mean with that is, you know, I realize it's important to talk about veteran suicide. Too many people, like, I don't get the, I'm going to do 22 push-ups a day. Let me videotape myself doing 22 push-ups. That does nothing. But talking about veteran suicide, meeting with your friends, calling your friends, checking in on your friends, that does things for veteran suicide because they feel like they have somebody to reach out to. So that's why I do that. I'm watching all the Hey, I'm a military brat about to do the New Mexico National Guard. Got any tips? The military is easy. Tiny the sec the tooth. Tiny the tooth. Um, if you just don't quit. The military is really easy as long as you just don't quit. Super easy. Don't give in to the thoughts. That's pretty much it. Yep, you got it, Wolfram. Did I earn the hat? No, I bought that shit. And I, I think I got crushed inside that truck. Can we laugh about you pulling up the wrong screen? Well, I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know <laughs> those files were in there. You guys weren't aware. One time I was streaming and I exited out of things and it pulled up some questionable files. And you saw some things that weren't supposed to be in there. Uh, and uh, I didn't even know they were there. And because I, what I did is I have an old hard drive that I had like all my pictures from Afghanistan, had all my old movies and stuff. And I just grabbed it all and copied it to this computer. And for some reason, the file it pulled up, don't know why, had some, some photos of, uh, some provocative photos of people that, uh, yeah, long, long time gone. And I was like, huh, didn't know those were there. So I went through the whole folder and I got, I was like, there's, there's nothing like that on this computer. And I went and just, I got, I deleted everything in there. I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that again. HLC with long hair haunts my nightmares. Ooh, do I have a picture of me with long hair? I looked like Andy Milanakis in high school. 14, Venom, I am a 14 Echo. Patriot, fire control, enhanced operator, maintainer. I'm the guy who shoots the missiles. You want to see my 19 Echo? I don't know what that is. HLC did a War Thunder. I did. Are we getting Mistletism shirts? Yes, in the near future. I will. I, I, that is not one of the designs I've worked on. That's more of a, a more recent one. But I got a couple designs coming out. One of them you guys have asked for for a long time is an FAFO shirt. I'm super excited for that one. A lot of thought went into that one. And the guy, Richard, who's making it, has just knocked it out of the park. The other one, I'll keep it a secret until it goes live. 13 Fox retired. No shit. I like foxes. Foxes are interesting characters. Um, foxes are about as close to... How do I word this? You guys ever watch the A-Team? Uh, and you know uh, the dude who like flies the helicopter who's like batshit crazy? Take that, but make him really good at talking shit. That's every 13 Fox I've ever met. 13 Foxes are one of the few people that can get me to shut up. And I'm really good at talking shit. 
and foxes will straight shut my ass up. So I, I do, I have a love for foxes. One of my buddies, uh, Moreau, um, he got wounded in Afghanistan, but he's a great guy, great fucking dude. He shut me up hard one time. Uh, we were in the back of an LMTV. And now the joke is kind of old, but back then it had never been heard before. We were all doing like, you know, your, your mama jokes. And, uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth. They're all just riding on top of the, the gear in the back of the LMTV. And uh, he goes, yeah, Long, your mom's so easy. A caveman could do her. And I, I had nothing. I had nothing, man. Hey, Habit, if I just pulled up to your house and said, yo, it's Hamburger, would you open the door? Respectfully, Hamburger? No, I'm a hermit. If I know people are coming, no problem. <laughs> 14 Echo, soft hands. That's the thing, bring the pain. You guys get paid for what you do. I get paid for what I know. You carry your weapon, my weapon carries me. Which one of us is more intelligent there? 19 Echo Nam. I don't even know what a 19 Echo is. Need an F-22 pin? We'll see what we can do. Love it when I play it. Murdoch, yeah, there you go, Murdoch. Hey, how about if I... Oh, yeah, we already got that one. HLC is my favorite missileer. <laughs> I'm a missileer. Best part is we did mix with the caveman. Miranda, you good? Uh, it was a good one. Use Geico material. Yeah, he shut me straight up. You might be dull, but your chin will take your chin will take you far. What? Also, can we get a moment of silence for a, 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 I can't say his last name, Akira Toriyama? I know I heard about that. Uh, we did talk about that earlier, though. USS Mac, we did. So I'm sorry. Your 14 Tango bring the pain. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to explain this to everybody. A 14 Tango is a launcher dog. I love my launcher dogs. I do. I really, I love my launcher dogs. Okay? But, I can fail my evaluation in more ways in the first five minutes of my fight than they can in their entire drill. Okay? Keep that in mind. Secondly, their job, love you Tangos, can be boiled down to a magazine spring. All they do is put another round in the chamber for me to shoot. That's it. But they also have a high probability of like getting crushed, getting run over, getting barbecued if I fire off of the wrong launcher. Like there's a lot of things that could go wrong for a Tango. So ultimately, their job is a little more dangerous. And a 19 Echo is a tanker. No shit. I used to be a 19 Kilo. Oh, you were a scout tank. They had them at the same MOS before they went Echo or Kilo and Delta? Hmm. 15 Tango, I bring the GT score of 110. Uh, Laszlo, might want to sit your ass down. I got a 121 GT. But that was after a fast class. It was a 104 before that. <laughs> I'm fucking... Uh, yeah. Heard Russia finally hit a high Mars. They did. They did. I mean, nothing is invincible. Um, the high Mars, at this point, like losing a high Mars, yes, it is a huge, it is a huge impact to the fight overall. However... This long in the fight, the fact that those systems made it this long and are able to, to continue to, to bring the fight to them is really a testament to their capability and also a testament to the Ukrainian capability. Habitual, do you know about Country Balls comics? I've never heard of them. Kind of want to take that test just because. it's Honestly, it's not bad. The best MOS fight me? Okay. Laszlo... You say you're the best MOS. I like to look at MOSs like rock, paper, scissors, right? So if infantrymen were to tell me they were a better MOS, well, if you put me against infantrymen, my system can't do shit. But if you put me against the Blackhawk, you're going to have a rough day. So I look at it like rock, paper, scissors. Don't get me wrong. I do love Blackhawks. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys, it was, it was kind of TTP for us. Uh, TTP is tactics, techniques, and procedures. Um, it was just an internal thing that we did after we lost our guys in Afghanistan when we would be walking around and we'd see a black hawk go, go across and uh, we see a red cross on the side. We'd all kind of just like look up and just kind of share a moment of silence because like we don't know what's going on. So 
Blackhawk mechanic, I know anyone who's never studied strategy and never studied tactics thinks that they're, you know, like the infantry guys, right? You know, I have to fucking everyone's infantry or infantry support. Well, yeah, that's kind of half true, but you got to understand, like, you can't win a war with just infantry. Trust me, it'd be a lot harder if you didn't have air cover, I assure you. Um, but yeah, so everyone has a job, but yeah, we would always, like, when we see a Red Cross, uh, that means that's a, that's a medevac. Uh, that's a medical bird going, going in or out. Am I at two hours? I'm almost at two hours, Mrs. Linecrosser. I got three minutes. What's my opinion on War Thunder? Great game. A lot of fun. Sometimes. It also um, is the reason. I don't know where they're at. The tabs on the back of my keyboard are broken off. I used to play War Thunder with my buddy Dr. Kozak. And, um... Yeah, now when I hit the L key, uh, it hits it twice, too. I uh, probably need a new keyboard. Um... Very rarely do I get mad enough to break things. Like, I broke my fishing pole a couple weeks ago. Did that. My wife was not happy. But I did it. What about Coast Guard? Coast Guard has a job. Did you know? I did not know this until I did some homework about the Coast Guard. Did you know that the United States Coast Guard is the sole responsible force? They are the only people that do it. Not the Navy. Not fucking anybody else. They are solely responsible for breaking the ice leading to Antarctica to allow ships of cargo and personnel to get in and out. I wouldn't want that fucking job. Nope. Hard pass a thousand times over. I won't do it. We are the yardstick to which we measure our armed force. <laughs> Weapons goes, nope, fuck that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want no part of that, man. I no, 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 thank you. Nope. I can't I couldn't do it. I so I, I do have respect for the Coast Guard. Everyone has a job, right? You know? So there was a there was a cartoon way back in the day. It was like just a little cartoon strip. And it showed like it was it was people. There was like a an Air Force guy wearing an Air Force shirt. He was like a stick figure, and he was like, you know, just doing this, flying through the air. And on his back was the army, like guy wearing the army shirt. And he was like, ah! And then he looked down and there was a Navy guy like wading through the water with a Marine on his back and the Marine was doing the same shit. I was like, that's, that's about the most accurate fucking picture I've ever seen in my life. That's a hundred percent. Um, keep going, please. Mirandy, I can't, I, I, I have, I'm... I'm keeping up this persona as much as I can, but I got a splitting headache. I have a fishing rod off the back of the ship. Oh, I would, I would love to. Uh, long deployments too, as icebreakers leave from Seattle all the all the way down there. Ugh, ugh. Like Coasties more than the Air Force. I like Air Force to a certain point. What about you, Jarhead? I'm not a Jarhead. Oh, you were infantry? Oh, Jarhead was infantry. You were 0311? Hey, what microphone are you using? My problem that I have quite a low voice and my headphones mic makes recording sound weird. This is a HyperX Quadcast. Um, I really like it. It has a lot of cool features. Like I have a gain that I can uh, turn up and down right here. Uh, right here, it's got like different modes. So if uh, two people are talking, I can turn it to one. Um, if like right now I have it on single direction and then there's one ambient direction where it pulls it in from, from everywhere. And then it has a cool little touch to mute on top. I'll show you and it lights up when you do it. Like that. I stored your missiles in Korea, HLC. Really? You worked at the MSA? Good old 0311 jarhead. Where does my comedy come from? A place of deep seated pain and anxiety. No, um. For me, it was, I, I, I grew up my age watching Jay Leno, who was like the king of satirical news comedy. I mean, every, every you know, night tonight show, he would open and it was just about the news and what's going on. And that man was the king of satirical news comedy. And year, you know, last year sometime I was watching the news. I was like, I can make fun of this. And that's really all I do is I watch the news or I get news updates. And I'm just like, I can make fun of that. I can make jokes about that. That's, that's all it is. The HK416 is a great self-defense rifle. I disagree. 
My forty five seventy is a great defense rifle. Johnny Carson, how do I did Johnny Carson was before my time, Laszlo. I will say that. HLC comedy is satire mixed with mistletism. I respect it. I respect it. Yep, did it way better. Yeah, I, don't get me wrong. I like uh, the new guy. What's his name? Jim, Jimmy Fallon. I like him. But Jimmy Fallon laughs at fucking everything. Like, literally everything he laughs about. Uh, so, I, I, yeah. 4570, baby. 4570 government. Just, 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 just when you need to say fuck you and the cover you're hiding behind. Mirandy Griffin, if you hop into the Discord, like just go to habituallinecrosser.com and there's a link to the Discord. You can a Discord account is free. There's always people in there to shoot the shit with. I'm telling you, just go go hop in there, okay? Have a great evening. Uh 4570 revolver. Uh, like a judge? Can a judge fire 4570? You can fire 45 long colt and you can fire 410. Hmm, never thought about that. You might break your damn wrist. Oh, I can't hear myself. All right, there we have it, guys. We're at two hours and three minutes. We're a little bit over. Um, so as always, do not come into the 22-day. Every single one of you are amazing. I will see you guys right here next Friday, hopefully. Um, if you'd like some merch, please go to habituallinecrosser.com and get some. When I launch the new stuff, I will make sure everybody knows about it. I hope, I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, until then, I hope I can keep you guys smiling, all right? See you all later.